100 Northeast Missourians gathered in Hannibal today with statewide office holders. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe talked about his run for candidate candidacy in 2024. WGEM's Claire Edland reports. In November 2020, Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe was elected as Missouri's 48th Lieutenant Governor. Today, he's here at Hannibal Nutrition Center as a keynote speaker to talk about some policies he's had in mind after declaring his candidacy in the 2024 gubernatorial election. Well, the key points of our platform are simple. That's to get government out of Missourians' way so that they can do what they know how to do best. Kehoe says what he knows best is agriculture. He grew up as a first-generation cattleman farmer. When you look at what our agricultural families go through, you know, Missouri is number two in the United States with family-owned farms. Uh, we don't need the federal government coming in and telling you how to regulate a or a drainage ditch, for goodness sakes. Former Senator Brian Munzlinger attended the event in support of Kehoe's policies. Missouri's been pretty good. Now, what I'm concerned about mostly is the federal government, but we don't want to let some of those really ultra-liberals get in power here in Missouri. Kehoe also shares how his backstory led to his efforts in supporting small businesses. Well, I was raised by a single mother. I never even met my father, the youngest of six. And my mom taught me that if you're willing to work hard and have faith, uh, you can succeed in this country. And so I've used that my whole life by getting involved with businesses that have broken parts to it, fixing them, and then making them better than when I left. Claire Edlin to WGEM News, Hannibal. While in the Tri-States, Kehoe visited several small businesses in Marion and Rawls counties, including U.S. Wellness Meats in Canton, Missouri, to survey their needs.